Hello builders and welcome to another ES Homes video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a farming route in the reach. Try and get the new furnishings. Uh, just checking I'm empty. Nope. Uh, okay, so unlike Skyrim that had an enchant cast there is a lack of great farming spots so you need to have oh, such trash so you need to have a route plan through the ruins um, <clears throat> The route I'm going to show you, I'm in Understone Keep, which unlocks as soon as you land in the zone. But this door is locked, so you'll have to complete the quest zones to unlock the full route. Uh, if, however, you're hoping to farm on multiple tunes for speed, then you're going to want to farm Bethanzel and just cycle tones through that one dungeon. Um, otherwise, I think that's about it. There are spoilers for areas. Mm. Nothing major, it's just some rooms. Ooh, nice, okay. So, like I said, no nothing major. I'm gonna try and keep the camera down though, but you will see certain rooms and not know what they are that you shouldn't see yet. So without further ado, we are going to start the route. It's uh, long. Now, because it's long, what I'm finding is I'm finding about five greens by the time I get through it. The respawn is quite fast on them. Um, blues a couple one maybe two however I can't guarantee that they're going to be the new ones uh, I've only got one new blue one two I've got one dwarven and one reachman other than that I've had about four green dwarvens so this is the first area Neutranzel we're gonna run down this corridor and I'll show you each area before we do it so it's not too confusing we're going to come down this little dead end for five urns and then we're going to go up through the door under the cursor here. We're going to go through two more rooms and we're going to exit here and then leave through this door. From here down to here there's so few urns that it's not worth doubling back Okay, banker gone? Yep, good. Uh, I've tried to do it, I've tried to pare it down the route so that you can farm it without having to spend too long dragging yourself over every corridor. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this is my fourth attempt at recording this, so my throat's kind of dry. The, uh, if you're in the game, what you'll have noticed is there is a lot of blue screen errors at the moment. And uh, <coughs> I'm repeatedly getting kicked out halfway through the video. Which makes doing uh, random comments, tips, and you know, off the comments hard. <coughs> Excuse me. Especially since. Uh, Something isn't spur of the moment when you've had to say it three times for the damn video. So, we're going to be looting these grey urns, the small gold urns. There's two or three kinds of jewellery box. Is there one thing to the right? And then the chest? Yep. Uh, two kinds of trunk, the little one, and bigger ones. Oh, and there's one that's got a little fancy lock on it as well. Uh, 
think this one is loot. Or loot of items. Oh, uh, there is a couple of desks, but only about three. Now, we're doing this for speed. So. Beat it. Don't bother killing the things. You can't, when you're fighting, can't loot treasure chests. But A, you don't want to be doing this for treasure chests if you're trying to get the recipes. And B, there's so many people in here, I've only actually come across one chest on my run through. In the cave there's a few, but in these corridors there's so many players that um, you hitting a chest before someone else is slim to none. If you do find a chest, it's going to be one of those uh, asshats that's left one piece of trash in there just so it doesn't respawn. Okay, so we're now going to shortcut to that door opposite. That's the main route through the delve or ruin, don't bother. Do, 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 do. Nothing to see here. <coughs> okay, so through this door, I think, is three things that you can't loot. It's uh, the next door then. So instead, there's five things here that you can loot. Uh, I think one on the left as well. That's the fancy trunk with a with a lock, the third kind. Gold. That's it. Oh, these. If it's a gold one, you can't loot it. But the little grey ones uh, are in there sometimes as well. So it's worth che uh, checking carts as you run past them. Excuse me one second. Ah, done. I mean, to be fair, I think there's only one purple bookcase I don't have, which is the large backless wooden. Still sell, oh, these are the three you can't loot. I need to go through a door. Ignore these guys, grab the two urns. Yep, that was it. Uh, I tend to throw my... Ooh! I throw my talk about how you're not going to see a chess, it's not going to happen, they're too rare, there's too many players. Okay, I don't normally do those, and normally don't bother with chests. Oh, you're kidding me. That's the the trigger. <coughs> Good grief. <coughs> I'm sorry I keep coughing. But, uh, yeah, I've been talking a lot. I've also worked all day, so... Could have done with a cup of hot tea. Didn't get one. Uh, I think that's it for here. <coughs> now, in the rooms, there doesn't tend to be... Like in here, there's nothing. There is nothing to loot in this room. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Quite often that B thing's dead. But um, I guess maybe the players are slowing down as it's getting late through here. Okay, <coughs> when you come in this room, we've now done the loop through the two rooms. And we're back here. There's a jewelry box. Don't lose it yet. I always leave that last. Also, on the side cupboards, if there's shelves at the top, 
It's a bookcase. Don't even bother trying to open it. Only if it's got metal at the top, it's a cabinet, and if it's all metal, it's a wardrobe. Actually, only ones. There's only like four in here, I think, that you need to open. Two, three. Oh, okay, that's new. Now, there's a stairs there, but I always use the jewellery box as my marker. So I've done the full clockwise rotation. Back out. Now, the next room, there's going to be one giant vampire knight to kill or run past. <clears throat> and at the far end of the room is one vase. So you can either loot it or just ignore it and duck out the door. Uh, try not to trigger the two things on the right. These guys are easy to kill. If I was really rushing, I probably wouldn't bother, but never mind. Okay, so in this room by the lift, there's one thing to loot. Been there though. Unless it's a summon thing. Oh, come on, you tedious things. There you go. Now, <coughs> we are going to be in the Ark Sand Caves. Since we land, I'll show you the map. If you haven't done the quest, Lime, you can get into these caves from above. So you should be able to get into Nuchan Zell and Batham Zell. Or Batham Daz. I'd have to look at the map. Okay, there's an elevator here. So, you should be able to get into Nuchan Zell from this side and Bethazel. Okay. I'm getting confused with the far dams upstairs. Bloody dwarves. Run from A to B. If, however, you've done the quest line, we're going to go into a little side room here. And then we're going to go into uh, this building. I think there's one thing in here to loot. Yep, nope, down. And there should be an urn over this side. Jewelry box, okay, I knew there was something. There you go. It was the only thing thinking of, the jewelry boxes were a nice bonus. Nothing here. Now, you just run straight across if you were doing the quick version. I'm doing the longer version, so I'm going to go into here. The library. Oh, the building box is outside. So, even if you haven't done the quest line, this could be worth grabbing. Uh, five or six things outside. Maybe a bit more actually. Okay, they spawned empty, but that's pure luck. Now, because I'm here, I'm going to go inside. Uh, the first room has one jewellery box. Then we're going to cross two very small rooms. We're going to grab three urns and a cabinet. And then we're going to come back out. Oh, uh, two urns, one other side. The jewelry box will be on the left. 
the fact that I remember this, but I can't remember what I did yesterday is indicatively sad in my brain. This is going to be a spoiler area. You might want to skip forwards about three minutes so you don't see where the hidden door is. I'm going to give you a few seconds to uh, just skip ahead. And healing bar, god damn it. Okay, by now you should have skipped. If you haven't, too bad. I warned you. And it's... Spoilers in the title. Ignore this, there's nothing in there. Ignore the boss, just run past it so you, if you don't get hit and then have to kill it. The next room, also run across. You may have to kill a few mobs in here occasionally. Depends on whether someone else has just been through here. But there's nothing to loot. Now, we're going to hit three ends on the left and the cabinet. Do, 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 do. I'm not showing you the rest of the room. Avoiding spoilers as much as I can. And there is nothing else to loot in that room. So, when we land... We're going to be in a little side corridor, and there's going to be another elevator opposite us. It goes up to a viewing platform and two locked elevators. There is nothing to loot up there. So... Oh, give me a break. Uh, don't waste your time. Okay, ignore that lift, jewelry boxes, thank you very much. I really am trying, although I did see that other one, not to look at what I loot. Because a lot of the time it's frustrating, you just keep on seeing yourself losing nothing and you get frustrated. And it's uh, a nice surprise when you find something. So we're still to the side here. We now go to the front of the building and we're going to go inside. Now this is probably the biggest, well, it is the biggest spoiler room. So, again, if you haven't done the quest line, skip forwards. Uh, I think stuff to loot outside. Four items, I think. The other one, the other doorway had more. Ah, uh, three. See, I mean, I don't know my route that well, but once you've done this three, three times, you start to remember where stuff is. I mean, I still look at all the sides in case there's something that I've forgotten or I'm misremembering. And also, containers don't always spawn. There's an urn there and an urn on the other side. Only pick one direction. If you start dabbling back on yourself and going backwards and forwards, it can be confusing. Now, I'm going to try and keep the camera as low as I can. I mean, if you haven't seen it, I really... Oh, and don't go into any of the little side rooms. There's nothing in there. Everything you want is going to be around these little piles of stuff by the steps. So by the time we get around this room and we hit the stairs again, we're going to get that last urn that's on the left. Nope, thought I saw one. Okay. And then we're Ari's. Okay, done. Ooh. Don't remember seeing that. I've probably run past it a million times. Whew, okay, so we only have Bethazel and Bethamdaz left. Now, if you're only looking to farm one area, like I said, this is the area that you want to park all your mid-level tunes, 
so that you can rotate through them quickly and just keep looting. Uh, before you complete the quest line, I think there's less enemies in there. <clears throat> Once you complete the quest line, you do find a lot more things you have to kill in those corridors. So that's the thing about this route. I mean there is there is a lot to empty. And because it's slightly drawn out, you do have more chance of getting the greens uh more frequently. But again, because it's drawn out, there's a fair amount of dead space. There's two lifts in this room and a bunch of stuff to loot. Oh, one second, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. So, in the rooms, again, they tend to not be as good as the corridors. I don't know where that is. I mean, you don't normally store stuff in corridors, you put it in a room. It's not like the top of pile of bloody crap stored on it normally. Like the, the hallway between the bedrooms. Uh, okay, uh, there's a corridor. Oh, there's one thing to the left here. There's a corridor with about five things, I think. Three. Okay, damn. No one's perfect. I'm <laughs> really not. Yep, yeah, that's not. Okay, uh, don't bother with the rest of the room. There might be one thing. Nope. Okay. So we're about to go into the last of the Dwarven Ruins for the route. And then we're going to check one place up on the top. Now, it is kind of important to do the place upstairs. Firstly, you normally have to leave an area to get the urns to refresh or they refresh in 20 minutes but not when you're staying in the same thing so if you're in a dwell, delve and you empty the urns they're not going to refresh until you leave so I'm thinking that by flipping from the cave and the ruins to going topside in the reach that should help with refreshing trunks and uh, also it's a nice stopping point uh, kind of gives you a, a clear start and finish Especially if you've done two runs, or if you don't have huge pockets, and you need two. Okay, that's got to come off my belt. Especially as it's now made my light time out. Okay, so there's a couple of things around the edge of this room. They might currently be empty, but there is nonetheless a couple of things. Two more urns, I think. Both empty. Nuts. Okay, let's... So from here, we're actually going to run this entire dungeon. All of this is dead space. This corridor isn't bad. From here, down to here, this is your gold mine. So you want to farm this corridor, this corridor, and then there's about three here and a few in this corridor, I think, if you're only doing the short version. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, things are a little bit more confusing in this area. Um, there's a lot of little mini dead ends, so you've got to, well, first of all, you've got to not try and empty something that's already empty. And secondly, you've got to have to uh, look around a bit more than you do in most of them. Why are they empty? It's not like I've done too many. 
I mean, there is a certain cutoff where they mess you around. Okay, a couple of things at this entrance. <clears throat> that chalice is normally dead as well. Uh, when you go through the next door, on the left is one trunk. That's empty. Okay, moving on. Um, there may be one or two things in this room, but hunting for them, just not worth it. Now, I mean, I, technically this is in the room, but it's almost at the corridor. Oh, maybe the game's decided that I've had enough loot for a while. If it's done that to the um, good corridor, I'm going to be missed. Is the polite words for the internet. Now I did actually leave this area, go to my house and deconstruct just before I recorded. Okay, uh, if you want this, I normally run across, but the slight detour is up steps, there's one thing to loot. Here you go. When we jump off this wall, turn 180 degrees and there's two chests. which are empty for me, but normally they're not. Uh, one jewelry box on the table. God, my brain is sad. And we're gone. Now this corridor. Uh, you have to come back along it. So to make it easier, I tend to open up everything on the left hand side and I ignore the right because when I'm leaving this area everything that I haven't looted will again be on my left hand side just means you're not having to keep double backing and turning and messing around it's, it's one of the things that I just found by practice so trust me on that if I blue screen again I'm going to be so annoyed Alright, throw my pet AoE just so that he annoys them and they leave me alone. Okay, wishful thinking. Oh, dicks, they're ruining my time. Uh, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. Partly that's why I'm racing through it, because time is money, especially when you have to uh, farm. Probably that's why I'm talking so fast. When I get nervous, I speed up a little bit, and throwing stuff at the internet <laughs> makes me a little bit nervous. But this is such a cool game, I get so much out of this game, you know, I want others to have the opportunity of not having to spend a year running around buying stuff when they could be farming it for themselves, and yeah, if you want to make gold, do it. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the more recipes that are on the market, and people are going to hate me for this, the cheaper they are which is the better for the people that actually have a passion for the recipes. I think there's like one thing down here. Um, dead end. Don't bother. Quest list. Um, yeah, so if you're, uh, if you're farming these just to make gold, please do so. Please, please ruin the market. Um, prices have crashed to be honest on furnitures a lot over the last six months eight months 
And that's been great because I can actually afford to occasionally go out and just spend 200 grand on furniture recipes. And uh, I'll get loads for that. I mean, 20 to 30k each, whereas they used to be 60 to 100, depending on what they were. Okay, so we're done with this area. Oh, that was the map. Sorry, we went up here. Down the back route for the chests, most of which will spawn open and empty. Down to the dead end left, back up and along. It's an easy part. So now we're going to still loot on the left hand side. And I think these are the desks. My camera angle is messy, but I don't care. I mean, you've seen where I'm going on the map. That's the important thing. Uh, locked door. Hmm. I am getting a lot of empty. I guess my RNG is just playing me up at the moment. So we're back here. We're now going to do the last little loop. Uh, one thing to loot at the doorway. The rest of this room is just crap. Okay, so we are nearly done. Uh, we've got the little loop to run. I don't think there's anything in this room. There might be like one treasure uh, jewelry chest here. Uh, this next room has got two items to loot. There's one urn and one jewellery box on the centre table. And luckily they're both on the side that we're going to turn 180 and just run down the next corridor. We do not have much luck with the, oh, there you go, the grey urns in the carts. Uh, okay, it's empty. Now, I've seen one or two things as I ran. I've tried not to. Uh, but I know that it's not been a completely pointless run. Now, obviously... I am mainly getting greens. When you first start here, that's fine. The greens are probably still selling for a bunch of money while the zone's new. And we're back. So that's it for Batarzel. I'm going to go top side. I'm going to show you the very last area I check. I'm just got to double back to this side corridor, which is only a small area. I see two last items. And then the lift. Oh. I think it's about a 20 25 minute run. Uh. Once the area is not new anymore, you're only going to make money from the purples. 
blues should still get a couple of weeks. 30k. Now we're here. We're just going to run down to this. Bathar Dams. It's under a minute to get there. In fact, crossing the cave downstairs took longer from memory. There's one delve I need to check out. Someone told me about it and I've been in there and I didn't notice it being particularly great, but nowhere's particularly great and it might just be slightly better. So if you played Skyrim, you know that this is full of followers of Periite. Periite. They're all a bunch of disease bags. You end up just killing a bunch of them. But there's four or five things here. And then on the inside corridor, there's a few more things to loot. About three here, I think. Yep. I keep saying this, but there's something wrong with my brain. I shouldn't be able to remember trivial crap like this. And not the important stuff. Uh, one chest on the floor as well behind me. And then about three things at the end. Oh, there's also one quest thing to pick up. And that's it. That is everything that I have so far found to try and help you guys. Let's see what we got. 100k. I like that. Um, this new, I could probably get 200k for that. I'm not going to because I need it. That's the kind of person I am. I don't do this for profit. Uh, I'll eat that in a second. But as it's solitude, I've got to knock it off my spreadsheet. That I'll sell. I'll get... I'll check prices. I should get 60k in zone chat to do it cheap. I think kind of an... Quiet run, actually. Um, I've tended to do better. When I was trying to record the... Three... Videos. How can I... Um, like I said, they kept crashing, but I finished the run off and then start again. Uh, let's see, I got that. I got that one. Like I said, it is dropping the solitude stuff. So if you don't have a lot of the solitude, this is actually nice. You can get some good stuff out of it. Uh, that was from the event. Uh, not all of this came from here. Uh, obviously the purples didn't, that was the event, and then the Halloween. I was trying to see if I had any more Dwarven. Yep, that one, that one, are both new. That's old, that's old, that's old. Uh, those blue ones weren't from this run. Nope, okay, so I think that's it. But as you've seen, I've learned the Green Dwarvens. Now I've got a couple to sell. Uh, I hope that's helped. I hope that it's educated you a little bit. Um, if you want to be sure of resetting, I would say teleport to a different zone. Um... I need to put some stuff into a guild bank anyway, so I'm going to go to Alinor. Because I know the bank's right by the way shrine. 
Uh, if you're full, go to your house and deconstruct, but I'm not quite sure whether that works on refreshing the urns. I'm hoping that coming from downstairs to up has, but I'm going to Eleanor just to make sure that everything's refreshed. Uh, I'm going to go back in and do a second run because with the new content, all of my guilds are quiet. Everyone's just doing quests and farming, so. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Don't think so. So until next time, builders, happy building. Have a great week.